Good morning, in this video I'll be going over the steps involved in making these pirate medallions. I'll be using a flexible polymer clay called cos clay. Let's start with the hanging scorpion medallion. Small circle, texture the perimeter, sketch a small scorpion onto paper, then trace that onto the clay. Bulk up the body, then dotting tool around in a circle. Moving on to the Aztec gold medallion from Pirates of the Caribbean. Large circle cutter, smooth the edges, sketch in some smaller circles, indent with a ball tool. Creating a higher peak on the inner circle, adding in some details. Roughly sketch out a skull on a thin sheet of clay and blend into the medallion. Add a loop up top for a chain. Refine the skull and add in some more details. A needle tool and micro marbles for the tiny details. Short length, folded in half to create a point. Add eight in all the gaps. Now for the coin with a square hole in the center. I was inspired by the coin of China and East Asia from the fourth century before common era. I practiced some different designs until I found something I liked. I am using these precision screwdriver bits as stamps. Added four small squares, texture the background and ended up with this. This coin is simply the Scorpio constellation using the Torx head, Phillips head and ball tool for the stars. For this coin I am using the same Primo mix that I used for the ring in this video. Circle cutter, remove the center, add in the Primo mix, then use a larger cutter around that. Place around some beads, add in some extra details. For the leather name tag, roll out a thin sheet of clay, scrunch up some foil, lay it on top and smooth over with a roller. Cut out the shape, writing my brother's name and stamping in his favorite number. This yellow topaz or citrine stone was made in the same way as the chunky ring in this video. I made a couple other simple coins using these same techniques. Now for the painting. I'm using acrylic paint, a solid base coat of brown or black. For this coin I am using both. Time to dry brush. I am using metallic silver, gold and bronze on the different coins. Small amount of paint, dab off the excess and lightly brush over the surface. For the pirate medallion I am using my finger to rub on the metallic paint. Inlaying the leather with gold paint and adding on a small band through the hole. For the chain I am soaking it in black paint. Before the paint dries I am rubbing off the excess. Here is a little look at the difference. The last step of the painting process is to add some grime with watered down brown paint. Here is a before and after. The grime is important in making the coins look old and as if they have been in circulation. These coins are part of a larger project I am working on so keep an eye out for that or follow along over on Instagram. The next video going up will be on the making of the skeleton hand goblet.